Why'd you buy a yacht? I love the sea. <laughs> this thing actually might be longer than any yachts. All right, well, wait a minute. Don't run off. Tell us about it. It's 1948 Chrysler, fluid drive, Highlander interior. What kind of motor? Gasoline. Gasoline motor, not diesel. No, not diesel. Not diesel. Oh, how about that horn? All right, explain. Well, wait a minute. What? I want to go. Oh, we got to close the gate. You're We're trying to lock back me out? Here. So these Chryslers have a very strange way you drive them. And if you're under the age of probably about 100, you've probably never driven one, nor understand how they work. So let's get the old man to give us an overview of how that kind of works. Okay, so explain to some of us newbies how exactly you operate one of these units. Well. Oh, not like that, that's for sure. Anyway, let's start over. Okay. Let's go somewhere else and start. Okay, so explain to us greenies how you drive one of these things. Well, it's two speeds low gear, two speeds high gear. So you just take off, let the clutch out, then just let your foot off the gas, shifts into second, wind it up. It's four speed semi-automatic. When you shift into high range, it goes into fourth. But it does have a clutch pedal. It does have a clutch. But it's also an automatic. Now I'm in fourth, and I can stop, but I don't have to push in the clutch pedal. Come to a full stop. That's because it has a torque converter and a clutch. That's correct. So now it'll take off in third, which is designed to do. Wind it up. Feel the power. Feel the power. The floating power. So the float, the smooth. Put off the clutch. The smooth yacht-like power. Now we're in fourth gear. So it shifts by itself, but not from low to high gear. No. That you need the clutch pedal. And if you have to go to reverse, you have to push the clutch. Huh. And has a torque converter and a clutch. That's correct. Interesting. And a straight eight. Straight eight flat head. Smooth straight eight power. Very smooth. And about the world's longest. Comfy though. Comfy in a cruiser. I think it's comfier than any modern cars they make. Got a good horn. Wow, it really does drive nice. So why didn't they put, did the cars have regular automatic transmissions back then? Uh, Cadillac had a fully automatic, hydromatic. But that was about it. Everything else was just a regular manual. Chevrolets, Fords, all that was manual transmission. So this was kind of ahead of its time besides the Cadillac. Absolutely. And right now you're taking off in third gear, right? Without yeah. the clutch? Don't have to push the clutch in. And it'll shift by itself to fourth. So let's see that. Wind it up to about 30. Just let your foot off the clutch. That's fourth gear. Just shifts in there. Huh. Very interesting. Very smooth. Even over the pretty big bumps there. Flat interior. Highlander packages. Yes. It's actually the car's a New Yorker model. The Highlander was the flat interior. I like the flat. The flat looks good. People that have a lot of style like me. <laughs> Very style. Nice style individual. Everything about this. comes from outside if it's cool, huh? Where does it open? Oh, there you go. You had it the wrong way. That's AC. You pull your you pull your chandelier lever here and open your AC flap. Get your nice breeze going. How about these fancy window knobs right there? Pretty slick. A little floppy, but your AC blowing. What do you got? You got a heater. Two heaters. Twin heater. Twin heater. You got one there. Is there one on each side? There's one down there on your side too. Huh? Headlights, temperature control, defrosters. This thing's pretty luxury, huh? All right, wait a minute. 
this will decide whether it's a nice car or not. The radio doesn't work? Oh, man. I have to take back everything I said. Parking brake and just show that. <laughs> I don't think it matters if the key's not on. Oh, turn the, turn the key on so that show how interesting that is. Show your old school park brake light. What's going on? It's failing us. Does the car have to be running? What is going on? Uh oh, right when you want to show something, everything. Oh, there you go. Oh, the door's got to be closed. So that flashes until, what, you release the parking brake? Yeah. That's kind of a quirky feature. You gonna put the top up? Huh? You gonna put the top up? Show how smoothly that convertible top works. It kinda comes crashing down. Oh really? Yeah. Duck your head. Oh yeah, it does kinda. <laughs> there you go, just like that. Crooked. Uh oh. Yeah, look down. At least it comes up. And then you gotta manually lock it here. There you go. That's all there is to it. This thing is definitely quite the looker there. Especially with all the hood. You got about eight feet of hood and what, six more feet of regular car? Eight cylinder cars have a longer wheelbase than the six cylinder car. Oh. Yep, it's quite a good looking car. And an interesting one to drive with the semi-automatic. Fluid drive. Are the clutches wet or are they dry? No, it's dry. The clutches are dry? Yeah. Are the clutches bolted to the flywheel and then the torque converter? The torque converter is bolted to the flywheel and then the clutch is on the back of the torque converter. Huh. Interesting. I don't think you can see anything, but we'll see what you can down here. No, there's the transmission, and there's the... No, you can't see anything, unfortunately. That'd be kind of interesting to look at. Maybe I'll see if I can flash up a diagram of it, but God, this thing is really is beautiful, and it's cool to see kind of the quirks they had developing these cars and all the interesting driving ones. There's a video on the channel earlier of driving a 49 Buick Woody, and that one has some kind of fluid drive also, but that's just an automatic, but it never shifts. It just seems like it kind of forever drives and doesn't ever shift. So there's a lot of different ways these things work and it's kind of interesting to learn a little bit about them all. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe.